Hey Joe, uh, this is Quilting Brow, and I wanted to share with you a couple of books that I found at uh, my library. Um, and I was going to give you a review. Of course, they're about quilting. This is called Natural Patchwork, and it is by Suzuko Koseki, author of Patchwork Style. Um, this is one. And then this is the second one. It's called Modern Blocks. It's 99 quilt blocks from your favorite designers, and it's compiled by Suzanne um, Woods. Now I'm going to talk about, you can look, look, you can tell that I like a lot of the squares in this one. Um, have you seen these? Um, by the way, there's the ISBN if you need it. And of course, um, I'll put a link in the, in the blog about this. Um, however, I was just, you know, there are just really some very, very interesting blocks that are in here. Um, and there were a couple that I wanted to point out because I rather enjoyed them. Um, it's interesting because I'm starting to discover the style of quilts that I like. This is just called um, Just Passing Through. I really like that. I think what I like about it is the contrast of the color and then we have a light with a dark again. Uh, I think that's quite, quite interesting. It's very pleasing to me. Uh, and, I wanted to find another one, uh, this is called Little Square Big Square, um, and this kind of reminds me of uh, Mark Rothko paintings, and I'm a huge fan of Mark Rothko. Uh, I don't want to show you all of these, however, I do want you to, this is a Mondrian, uh, it's called Mondrian, and it's by Jamie uh, Molanin. Um, you know, and I, while I wouldn't use those, uh, types of fabrics, I think it, it ends up with a nice result, which could be a lot of fun in a, in a large quilt, um, or at least a wall hanging or something along those lines. Um, what's the other one? Again, off the fence, like that. That is, um, Weeks Wriggle, Ringle and Bill Kerr. Have you ever heard of these people? Again, I'm new to the quilting world, so... Um, and uh, this is by Emily Sear, and it's on the plus side. Could you imagine the fun that uh, I could have with that? So, but there's that. Um, this is, um, I, I liked this book quite a bit, um, and I liked it enough that I was like, oh, look, pinball machine. How fun is that? I mean, that's a lot of fun. There was one I wanted definitely to show you. Um... And um, because I, I got caught on the colors of it, 46, and it's called Diamond Ripples. Lovely, isn't that? I think that's just lovely, and I do like the pattern with that, and I like the bright colors with the white. I think that's a lot of fun. That's by Lara um, Finslayson. So, um, Modern Blocks. I would recommend it. I would be interested to see what you think. Um, I will bring this when I visit. So, there's that. I, I think it's kind of neat. Um, you can see some of the other designs on the back. So, there's that. Now, this other one, Natural Patchwork. Um, this, um, no, not for me. Uh, it has bags and it has, you know, things like, um, the things that just wouldn't work for me. Like a little purse, um, like that. I can so see me using that as a knitting bag, right? You can, too. I know, I know. It's a, a, a yo-yo bag. I've heard about yo-yos. Hmm. So, um, but there was one design in here that I liked, and I am very specific on why I like it. It's called Courthouse Steps Quilt. And um, there's a larger picture of it here. And you can just, you know, as you see that, what I like about it, and I don't know if you can see this, but these are all small pieces, and those pieces are actually sewn together to create um, uh, squares. Um, and I think I really like all of the seams. What is it with me and seams? So, anyhow, um, I just wanted to share these with you. Um, I'll bring them when I visit. And um, so... But it's interesting for me to go to the library and find um, some books that might actually be of interest to me as I figure out my quilting voice.
All right, well, now you enjoy your colorful stitches of daily life. Bye.